Okay, welcome back to another episode of Combs Teeny Tiny Town. So today I got my package from Otter Valley Railway. So if you're not familiar, Otter Valley uh, Railroad is a uh, Canadian model railroad shop with a has a really great, uh, efficient mail order business, and I order a lot of things from them. And I I actually put in a pre-order for a Rapido HO scale. CP Rail Angus Van, which is Canadian for caboose. And I think I put this order in like two years ago. So I'm really excited today to unbox this uh, this great model and put it on the tracks and see how it looks with uh, a train in Combs Teeny Tiny Town. All right, so let's, uh, let's get right to it. Okay, let's uh, do this very carefully here. Um, I'm a little bit shy about using a like a box cutter here, but these folks usually have this. Yeah, they packed it up nicely with the the underlying um, cardboard here. So if you do cut a little deep with your with your tool, your box cutter, your scissors, then uh, you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, so so Otter Valley. I have, uh, oh yeah, Otter Valley, of course, is uh, doing their own special run of uh, uh, scrap metal gondolas. And uh, there's an insert here. Nice. Um, another insert. And oh, they've even, <laughs> everybody's doing stickers nowadays. Uh, so that's kind of fun. They got a couple of uh, stickers to, to publicize their, their models. And, you know, I've seen these coming up on YouTube now. People are doing reviews. Uh, I'll have to check out some reviews and maybe look to get one myself. All right, so we have the invoice here. And, uh, yeah, basically we have the model. We'll set this aside here. Bubble wrapped. Okay. She's uh, not enormous. She's small. But, yeah, here we go. Uh, the Angus van. So the box is... Uh, Cased in some plastic. So let me just uh, get my scissors here. It's scotch taped for our safety and protection. All right, so here we go. So here we go, the Angus van in the standard Rapido package. Boy, I've never seen such a small box. And as you can see here, it is the Angus Wide Vision Caboose, Canadian Pacific. And, um, yeah, same thing on the other side. So let's uh, open this up and have a look. See, I always try to be as careful as possible not to kind of overly manhandle the tabs here of the box. Keep it looking as fresh as possible. Okay, so we'll set aside this. Now, let's see, they've probably got their own. Okay, so we have the, the special wand. So this is a Rapido thing. So the cars, I think passenger cars, vans, cabooses, you use this magnetic wand to control the lighting inside the, the car. So I guess these things are compatible on all models that use this technology, but this is the first time I've actually ordered it. I've only ever seen it online. Okay, so as you can see, model is in your standard clamshell packaging. Okay. Let's uh, open that up. It's encased in plastic as per uh, standard packaging. There's some, uh, there's the stickers. There's the, the poly bag with some extra bits in here. Okay. So I'm not actually sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Yeah, there's some extra bits here in the poly bag. So stuff if you want to. Uh, further modify or change the model in a particular way. Okay, so this here is the Angus van. Okay, so bringing the camera off of its stand, we can kind of have a look here. You can see lots of nice details. You got those uh, metal style, Katie style couplers. I'm sure they are Rapido branded. 
lots of uh, detail here, the separately applied railings and, and grabs, wire grabs. Okay, you got the, uh, the, the smokestack there, the chimney. Okay. Okay, and I guess that's some sort of a, a radio type antenna on the top. So yeah, obviously a nice looking model out of the box. I don't see any obvious uh, issues or concerns about damage, but uh, I'll have to look at it very carefully. But uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll get this guy out on the track and see how he runs. Okay, so here we go. Here we have it's on the tracks. And I'm going to give it a little power here. And let's see here. Oh, you can see light is on. Okay, I'll just, there you go. It's off. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just hit the lights. Okay, so now we're plunged into darkness here. So let's just see um, what this looks like here. All right, there you go. So lights on. So definitely a working model. And the, the wand, I guess, and I haven't read the instructions, but uh, yeah, the wand can be used to control the lights. And you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how it works. So I won't mess around too much with it here. But uh, yeah, so again, seeing, seeing it here on the tracks, you can see at the end, got the brake wheel, separately applied grabs. Okay, I see a metal etched uh, platform at the end. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, just a really nice looking, outstanding uh, representation. Brake wheel at the other end as well. Um, so I guess the only thing left to do is give it a spin around the track and see how it looks with a train. Okay, here we go. Let's make a train. All right. So we're all hitched up here. All right, so these are some Rapido 30, uh, 3,800 cubic foot uh, hoppers of the same era. So let's, uh, let's give it a whirl, give it some juice. All right, and here we go. So the Rapido Angus van bringing up the rear on a train through Combs Teeny Tiny Town. So I do apologize for not being able to uh, demonstrate the, the magic wand, but uh, I'll mess around a little bit with it and uh, maybe post a follow-up video. But uh, I'm really excited to have this Angus van here, or caboose. It's uh, right... Uh, uh, perfect sort of in terms of the era that I really remember most about model uh, railroading rather in the uh, 70s and 80s when I was a kid but um, I think it would be a great addition to anybody's layout so there you go thanks for watching everybody if you like what you see please be sure to like this video and uh, yeah pop in a comment and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to watch more adventures in model railroading in Combs' teeny tiny town. Take care, everybody. Stay safe and have a great night.